OK, I'm going to create a timer project um, using the timer example. Um, create a new project for the Q43. Um, since it's connected in the kit window, um, this is connected, and we will have the tool option available of that board. Latest compiler and timer example Q43. MCC is selected um, to open on finish. And we select MCC Melody. So we have an empty MCC Melody project here um, on which we can start building with some of these example components. So looking under Content Manager, we can see under Examples that there are three here, ADCC, Timer, and UART. And we can see that the device is supported um, of these respective examples. So um, if I'm going to start using the timer, for example, um, I'll find it here, timer example. I add it to the project. It shows up as a component in the builder. And I can see this question mark here I can be becoming active. So here I get an overview of what the different examples do. So the first one, I'm toggling a LED at 100 milliseconds and a debug I.O. as well. And um, just note that there are instructions here on how to set up the debug I.O. And the second example is about switching frequencies from um, 500 milliseconds to 100 seconds when you're pushing a button. OK, so if you are completely new to uh, example components, here we give an overview of what the example components are. Uh, you select an example, an implementation, there's associated configuration, some to-dos, which you control to confirm what you've done, and then you're going to configure some code. OK, so we select the first example and an implementation. So the implementation, you can see that we keep coming back to um, this document, Design Patterns for Control Flow. And this is, in a simple way, just different ways to organize main.c and other application level files. And there's an overview of the MCC Melody API. and uh, the two primary uh, lower level patterns that you're going to organize your, your application files is basically uh, uh, polling or interrupts with callbacks. Um, and then on top of those, you can build state machines or you can go in a different direction towards low power. OK, so those are the implementations. So generally, the implementations do the same thing for a given example. So let's start off with the uh, polled example. OK, so add um, timer from drivers. So, and here the hint, um, at the moment we just have 8-bit timers supported in this example. So um, timers 2, 4, uh, or 6, or timer 0 in 8-bit mode. Let's start with timer 2. OK, so I'm able to drag and drop the examples uh, across the so that I can put it next to what I'm configuring. So we've added a timer. Here, hardware settings so that required period. It's less than max period. And so, so what I require is 100 milliseconds, right? So I need to make sure that this number here is greater than 100 milliseconds. So that's the max period. Um, so I can start playing with some of the different options here. And uh, w deliberately, there's no specific values of these because we're trying not to over-constrain um, the example. So um, so long as I increase this value here, see it's getting close. and went to 16, and this gives me the 100 milliseconds that I need. 
and um, no timer interrupt. We are in polled mode. Now I'm going to select a lead pin and a debug I/O pin, and so back to our kit window. Here we have access to the schematics, and um, our lead pin is on RF3, and our debug I/O is on RB4. RF3, and you can see that the instructions say pin grid view. So pin grid view. RF3 is our LED and RB4. RB4 is our debug IO. RB4 is our debug IO. So now rename the output pin uh, to IO LED and IO debug. So system pins, system pins. Uh, IO LED and IO debug. Okay, we've renamed the pins. Um, hardware, just check that we're using a timer 246. Yes, we have done that. Click to generate. Um, here's our generate button. Navigate to examples folder. So here we get some more help the generate and under source files, generated files, examples, we'll find our time example file and then we'll be able to, between the dashed lines, find some code to copy and paste, then follow some to do's in the code. So, generate projects, source, examples, time example.c. Copy, go to our main file. Okay, now we see the to do here um, with the name of the constant struct timer interface from the MCC generated files timer timer x. Um, timer timer x. Here's the timer interface, and this is the value that we're looking for. And here you can see how the interface for the timer is assigned to specific functions of the timer too. So this looks correct. Build. All good. Let's program. Okay, our timer is blinking and we can open our data visualizer. And let's just revisit the instructions. So this is our particular example. Okay, so the instructions to configure the data visualizer, click to open, click here to display as raw data on the time plot, zoom in a bit and then add some vertical cursors. So, <coughs> time plot, displays raw data. You can see that there are little bumps there which will soon auto calibrate. Zoom in a bit, pause, add a couple of vertical cursors, and we have our close enough to 100 milliseconds. Okay, in the next short video, we will pick up from where we left off here and uh, quickly demonstrate the uh, callbacks version of the timer.